Once you've already made a conscious decision to adopt more sustainable ideas within your life, the next step is acquiring the knowledge to be able to make it work. There are tons of sustainable technologies out there and available to you. And the first step is valuing learning things. If you take on a learning culture in your lifestyle, then you're going to consistently reach in and, and pull out this knowledge to be able to apply in your own life, whether it be for your family, for a school, for a nonprofit, or for anything. Just be passionate about learning. I mean, most of us are, but if you really dedicate some time to research some of these things, you'll really understand how they work and you'll really be able to implement them in your own life. Like when you think back that you had to go to a library to research this stuff and now you've got the web, if you, if you know how to search, you can find everything on the web and how to do it and how to hook it up. All questions are answered. You know, my, my job every day requires me to be creative, you know, with the things that I'm doing and uh, helping other people figure out a way. And I learn from these people every time I have, you know, I have them with me. It's, it's not just a one-way street. It's not just me teaching them how to do it. It's me finding, you know, ideas from them as well. You know, there's, everybody has solutions. It's just a matter of it, getting over your fear of finding those solutions. Once you have that crew core, that energy starts to spread out. And when you start to surround that key crew with more and more volunteers, they feed off of our energy. They see our enthusiasm. They recognize, hey look, these guys aren't out here saying, go do this, go dig that hole. They see the crew, we're digging the hole and you're just there to help us. And we're here teaching you that technique. So we never say, we never tell you to do something. We haven't done it a thousand times ourselves. Yeah, well, the volunteers, I can't say enough about the volunteers. I mean, they are what keep the ball rolling. You see how you don't have to have the skills on a normal you know, job site. You can come with no preconception of what, how anything's built, and you can leave knowing at least how to build a smaller ship yourself, if not knowing how to build the whole thing. I'm really impressed with um, how airships come together and how, how quickly knowledge can be acquired. Group of inexperienced builders team up, they learn based on a couple of people who aren't really teachers but who have experience doing this kind of stuff, and they come together and make a functioning, off-the-grid building in 30 days. And if you're not impressed by that, then I don't know what is going to impress you. There are a lot of people who are overwhelmed with where to start when it comes to knowledge. Just start where you feel it makes sense. Is it solar panels that interest you more? Is it rainwater? Is it aquaponics? You name it, just start. On the road to change, sustainable ideas are the vehicle and knowledge is the fuel that powers them.